Two Connecticut Army National Guard aviation units are now deploying to the Middle East. The mission is aimed at supporting partner nations to counter ISIS. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Schuler tells us how they have prepared for the work ahead. 70 Army National Guard members embarked on a year-long mission this morning, boarding in Windsor Locks, making a stop in Texas before ultimately heading to the Middle East. It's a journey National Guard's men and women have worked years towards. You know, when I was younger, I always just used to look at all those people in, you know, in history, and I always wanted to just you know, be a part of those, you know, all, of all the history books. There's a big mission ahead of the units, but they say they're more than prepared for it. Well, there's a lot of training. There's a lot of administrative training. There's medical training. We have some basic soldiering stuff. We have weapons qualification. And with us as an aviation unit, we have a lot of aviation specific things that we want our soldiers to be ready and proficient with. Uh, we're going to provide aviation support. For service member Billy, he's parting from his wife and three kids. A similar story for many other service members. They're doing good. They're very wonderful, very supportive. It's always nice to know that people care about who you are and what you're doing. It makes you feel as though what you're doing is important. That's very helpful. It helps everybody stay motivated. Governor Ned Lamont thanks the National Guard's men and women for choosing to work in harm's way and provide aid in the Middle East. These are folks who every day stand up and do the right thing for their country when asked. In Windsor Locks, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.